Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivas, the Carb Addiction Doc, and today we're going to do a little video understanding gluten. Folks, this is not difficult. This is not difficult. Gluten is a group of proteins, typically two major proteins, called gliadin and glutenin. Gliadin being the most uh, um, harmful one. These are proteins that occur with many grain products. Okay, so it's part of grain. And human beings no longer have the intestine, like cows do, of being able to deal with gluten. So 100% of humans, if you are genetically encoded to be human, you are also genetically uh, coded to not tolerate gluten. Uh, gluten. Sometimes it is subclinical, sometimes it has massive clinical impact, but no human being can tolerate gluten, which is most of the grains that we eat. Okay? So let's start there. The uh, um, gliadin is the most common protein that when we eat it can cause an immediate immune response in the intestine. So when we as a gastroenterologist are looking for gluten sensitivity, we can biopsy the intestine and see those, uh, uh, that immune reaction, see those antibodies, we can test for them in the gut. That's how we make the diagnosis. So there's already an inflammatory response in the gut. Whether you just feel like irritable bowel syndrome or you have overt disturbance, there's, there's a spectrum to which the human body reacts from an immunologic perspective. The other issue with, with gluten is that our body's our immune system reacts, sees that as a foreign molecule, and develops an immune response where it develops antibodies and immunely, immune activated cells against that foreign antibody. The problem is that those same antibodies, those same uh, immune cells cross-react with certain elements of the human body. So, for example, in Hashimoto's thyroiditis, there are a couple of antibodies against the thyroid that cause Hashimoto's, that chew up the thyroglobulin, that affect the production of thyroid hormone, and those are cross-reactions. That's what autoimmune disease is. So, those are triggered by things like gluten and other antigens, and we get that cross-reactivity. Now, Gluten exclusively occurs in conjunction with carbohydrates, primarily grain carbohydrates. So you could go gluten-free and do all these gymnastics of food and basically eat modified cardboard as gluten-free bread or gluten -free. Folks, that is so disturbing to me to see how bizarre people that are allergic to gluten find things to eat that are gluten-like without gluten. It is ridiculous. You know what's a lot healthier, a lot easier, a lot safer, and a lot simpler? Avoid grains. No carbohydrates, no gluten. No carbohydrates, no gluten. No carbohydrates, no gluten. That's not that difficult, folks. And I don't care if you are a sufferer or a tolerator of gluten. It affects you. It affects every human being. So the right thing to do is start a ketogenic diet, cut out the grains, and you're automatically gluten-free, and you don't have to go and find all these gluten-free cookies and all those other things. So there's other ramifications as well. This is not difficult to understand. It's not science. Stay carb-free, you are automatically gluten-free. Give it a go. And I know you love your carbohydrates, but love feeling healthier more. Love your gut more than you love getting high on carbohydrates. Yes, it's a perceptible sacrifice, but the benefits far outweigh the sacrifice. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. Stay carb-free, stay healthy, and support us by subscribing to this video, hitting the like button, and if you really feel generous, please join us on our Patreon account. These videos are free, but to keep the content free, to keep the content coming, Support us financially so that I can pay for these and keep them free. Thanks so much. Make comments below.